What's up everybody, 905 Mag here doing a video today. Just getting a little bit of water made here with my uh, RODI unit. It's pretty new to me and it's doing great. I'm gonna be making a 15 gallon water change. Nothing too big, uh, but I do wanna just kinda change out some water. The old water that I'm gonna use, um, that I'm gonna siphon out, is gonna go into my frag tank. Um, now I have two frag tanks that I showed you in a previous video but I'm going to be using that water for the bottom frag tank and the 25 gallon lagoon which is serving a, as a frag tank right now is actually going to get set up later on into you know just a nano tank so I can really enjoy it like that so that way I can have like the best of both worlds I'll have the 150 gallon display tank then I'll have a 25 gallon my innovative marine tank as a nano shallow reef and then uh, I'll just have a frag tank on the bottom of that where I can just kick back cut corals up trade them sell them whatever and uh, I the sight of frags just by itself without any rocks or anything like that a whole bunch of different colors um, is a pretty nice aquascape in my opinion currently I have two t5s on uh, they are on timers I'm running the coral plus and the ATI Blue Plus. If you guys are running T5s on your tank, let me know. I've seen some tanks uh, do really well without T5. But in my opinion, I always like the T5 the way it looks. Um, in my nano tank, I'm just going to do straight up LED. I'm not going to add any T5 to that. But um, I did want to show you guys the problems that I'm having. Uh, I'm going to order a few things online when I, where I like to shop. I like to get my stuff from MD, but I'm going to be ordering a C squirt, that Camp Marine C squirt. And the reason why is I need to blast the foot of the anemones so that way they can come loose and I can get rid of them from my 150. They're taking up too much space in my 150, stinging a lot of coral. And it's already getting um, out of control. I'm going to be topping off this tank right here. This acrylic tank that I had made for me uh, with some of the 150 gallon water during this water change. Um, I'm going to top it off like that. And then I'm going to get this tank running. Um, I think this looks really cool. I'll have to show you this with the uh, blues on and the T5s off and everything. But I'm thinking about having maybe a shirt or something like that made. With this design, um, I think it's pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys would be interested in some stickers or maybe a shirt later on down the line. Let's take a look at some of these SPS right here. Um, you can see the growth on it. It's doing pretty good. It has really good bright pinks in it. Deep uh, purples. This piece right here I got from my buddy Alan at the Coral Reef. Which... I don't want to give you too much information, but I will give you uh, a teaser. I'm going to get to record his own personal tank, and we're going to see what's going on there. The anemones, as you can see, they're just multiplying, stretched out. I have all the flow turned off, and as you can see, the flow is not making them sting the corals. They're just reaching out and stinging my digis and everything else on purpose. It's definitely annoying, but I'm going to get that uh, sea squirt. I tried a regular turkey baster and just trying to spray the foot of the anemone. It's not strong enough. The sea squirt it is a uh, coral feeding tool that extends. And um, I don't need it to extend, but it has enough power. It blasts water, you know, with a jet. And it's the only thing that I've found to be able to loosen up the anemone's foot. Take a look at this Garf Bonsai SPS. It was getting stung by the anemones. I moved it. I put it. On, I super glued it on the uh, overflow. And look at it. The purples are doing good. The greens are right, bright and pink. Everything is doing good. This next piece also doing well. I'm going to have to do a nighttime video for you guys. So you guys can really see the colors of it. And you guys can enjoy it. This looks pretty legit just during the daytime, but in the evening it looks even better. I'm going to be panning down from the top down 
and then we're going to switch to the regular view as if you would be looking at the tank. Uh, so you can kind of see the differences of the top down and just from standing and looking at the tank. The colors on this is pretty cool. They're, they're getting there, you know. Um, my tank was neglected for a little bit um, just with, you know, doing things, not being on top of the water changes, not dosing, um, being lazy, but it's getting there and then everything starts to grow. You can see my Zoas, my Rastas, but these pallies right here are really sweet. Um, I don't know the name of them, but I started off with a few heads and they have taken off and grown into a colony. Which is why I'm really excited to get that frag tank going. So that way I can chop some of these things up, share them with the uh, locals, and uh, kind of make some space in this 150 because I don't want my 150 to be overrun by pallies. I want it to have a nice mixture of colors with everything. Purple stylos doing really good. My uh, hippo tang or the blue regal tang still goes in there, hangs out. My pink bird's nest is doing well. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the regular view as if you would see it, you know, just looking straight at it. So let's go ahead and get there. As you can see, it's totally different now, which is why I like looking at the top and the bottom because you'll see different colors and different growth than you would normally see just looking at it like this. Um, between the two views, three views, I like looking at it at the top and on the side. I like the side because you can see all the different dimensions at the front. It's kind of like a, you know, just look at it and that's it. You can see the anemones. They're all spread out. Not for long. As soon as I get my, uh, peak, that coral feeder from uh, Sea Squirt, which I'm going to buy, uh, I'm going to use it. And then locally, I'll start selling those anemones. The green slimer looks kind of boring like that but looking at it from the top you can see the white tips of the coral growth you can see the dark greens and you can see that it's growing away from the frog spawn it kind of knows that the frog spawn is there if it made contact with that frog spawn off to the right the frog spawn would definitely beat it i fragged this piece before um, i've given some big chunks to my local fish store the coral reef and um, as you can see, it's already starting to grow off, grow even more. And it looks more cool like this, in my opinion. Now I want to go ahead and zoom in to these little pests, Mohano. I think they're Mohano anemones. Starting to grow all over and show up all over my tank. Starting to really um, become a nuisance and more of a problem because it's not just one or two. Now I have Aptasia and I have these Mohanos. So if you have any suggestions on how to remove them from the aquarium, let me know. Is there a, a file fish that will eat them all? Uh, I'm really, really thinking about it so that way I can get rid of them. This frog spawn is doing really good. It opens up really wide every day for this T5. Um, it starts to shrink up later on in the evening, but as soon as this T5 clicks on, it's way open. It has some nice bubbly green and purple tips as you can see right there and uh, it's very large one of my favorite favorite pieces in the tank I have another piece of it that I accidentally broke off on the side um, I may do something with it later on once I get the lagoon growing and going uh, I think it would look pretty cool but we'll see how I decide to aquascape that there you can see I'm only running two t5s and uh, the Reef Breeders LED and everything else is doing pretty good. Nothing uh, has really changed in the lighting. On the new tank that I'm doing right now, the Innovator Marine 25 Gallon Lagoon, I'm thinking about running some different LEDs. I'm kind of debating between the XR15s and the AI Primes. Um, I would really like to do like a high-end XR15s. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, the price tag on those are, is uh, pretty hefty. Um, as you can see, the anemones right here are just spread out. I had the flow turned off. The flow is just kicked on. My clownfish loves it. 
But I think this clownfish only needs one anemone. It doesn't need to be hopping around between four anemones, um, which is something to consider if you have a nano tank. I really wouldn't suggest you get an anemone because in a nano tank, these things would cause even more havoc because it would be simply not enough room for them. They would make room for themselves, but everything around them would be stung. So let's look at the current state of the 25 gallon innovative marine. This is basically my little frag tank. I love this view, but I think this tank has a lot more potential than just being a frag tank. That's why I set up that acrylic frag tank on the bottom of it. This one, I like to stick some live rock in here, some sand, maybe get a couple of fishes, uh, nano fish that is. Um, take out all these uh, frag racks and egg crate and let's make a cool thing of of a lagoon uh, shallow reef um, This is a tank that I'm thinking about running two AI primes or two XR 15 Radions now I'm dis Debating between the two. I like the AI primes because you don't need any kind of fancy interface They're already built in inside of the light but then I like the XR15s because I can see the growth. Um, with the AR Primes, they come with the diffused LEDs already. I've had the AI Prime before, but uh, this one, they have uh, HD. So I don't know. I'm thinking about it, and I'd like to hear your guys' opinions. But definitely two would look pretty sweet. My Nanolite on this tank has done great. But me being a reefer, I do want to kind of change things up a little bit. It, this is also Wi-Fi. And I think this light would be good on something else because I need the, a second LED for this aquarium. Now planning out the aquascape that I plan on doing, I think I would do something more like a little bit of shelf rock and some Tonga branches. Nothing too crazy because... Uh, ultimately, this would probably be like a Zoa tank, maybe a couple of Digis, maybe a little bit of SPS. It'd be a, for sure a mixed reef, but um, we'll see. Uh, uh, this is going to be a nice project. It's going to be a nice work, and uh, it's going to not look so frag tank, but it is a good frag tank if you just wanted to do that. But I do want to change it up and make it different. I would keep the same flow right there that I'm using. But down here on the bottom is where I plan on just having it straight up frags. Um, as you can see, I got most of it taken under control with the egg crates and the frag racks. Um, and to be honest with you, I'll even throw more frag racks on here because I would jam pack this thing with Zoas mainly since I am a Zoa guy. I do have to buy some different Zoas because some of the Zoas and Pallies that I did have uh, got eaten or melted away. I'm thinking they got eaten by Asterinas, but this thing, I'm excited to get it jam-packed and full of different colors. Um, for the lighting, it is a Photon, the 20-inch, I believe, and it has plenty of power. I just plug it in and it runs its own uh, light schedule from... The same light schedule that I'm running on my uh, 150 gallon display. But I want to hear what you guys have to th say about it. What you guys are thinking. Um, I'm kind of interested to see what lights you guys would pick. If it's a different light, let me know. Uh, drop it in the comments below. I still haven't forgot about that contest. We will do that. I'm going to make a separate video for that contest. Because that way I can just keep track of it in the uh, comments below this one was a general tank update and i uh, hope you have a good one and uh, have a stay out of trouble i'm going to be showing a little bit of video of me uh of me cruising around running around on some of these trails um it's a lot of fun to do and uh check you guys out on the next one you guys stay tuned for that video like and subscribe we'll get you that hat soon and you guys stay out of trouble thanks guys have a good one